Hello, my name is Idom, and today I just have some great news for Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, it's regarding the version 1.06 update coming next week, or November 27th. Uh, it's pretty big, I don't know what the size of it is going to be, that has not been said yet, but I'd imagine it's going to be fairly big because they're adding 15 cars, which is a pretty decent amount for DLC. Three of them are free, it, it is not said uh, if you're gonna have to pay actual money for the other 12 cars or if you're just gonna have to pay in-game currency or if you have to pay in-game currency for the other ones and the other ones are gonna be free but uh what I'm guessing is the other three that are free are just gonna be added to your garage when you load up the update uh, the first three cars that are free are the AC Cobra actually Shelby Cobra it is a Shelby Cobra not the AC Cobra anymore I'm pretty sure it is, uh, this guy just said, I bet this Dom kid got a Miata. I had a Miata, actually. Kind of, kind of offensive. I don't know what that means. Anyways, that's a Shelby Cobra, and I kind of predicted that they were going to be adding this car, honestly, because they were releasing, like, a bunch of wheels that they put on Cobras and AC Cobras. Yeah, it's the actual Shelby Cobra this time. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It's awesome to see a car from the 60s being added, and, uh, this is going to be really fun to use. It's going to be powerful, it's going to be light, it's going to be stick. Uh, they're also adding an Audi R18 LMP1. So that's another LM car that's really exciting to see. I, lo I love those cars. Those cars are just really fun to use. Kind of hard to control in this game because they're so fast, but uh, they're fun They're fun to use. They're fun to learn, all that fun stuff. And then they're finally adding the Iso Revolta Zagato car that I was talking about in the video where you could barely hear me. And uh, I actually decided to turn this uh, race audio down this time just so I don't risk that happening again. Hopefully it doesn't happen. If it happens, I'm just going to redo it and turn off the sound for the cars completely. And I'm going to hate my life if I have to do that. Uh, anyways, the other 12 cars that are coming are a C3 Corvette. Uh, doesn't say what year any of these are, but uh, uh, you can get the general idea of what the years are. A Ferrari Enzo. Ferrari F40, this next one's really exciting. I'm actually really happy to see this in the car, and I was actually thinking today, like, dude, Gran Turismo should have this car, actually, truck. It is a Ford F150 Raptor. Pretty cool. It's the brand new one with the 3.7 V6. Actually, pretty quick. All aluminum body, and I think they make, like, 400 horsepower or something like that. It's the same motor as the new Ford GT. Uh, Lamborghini Countach LP400. KTM Crossbow, which is pretty cool. Uh, Mazda RX-7, it's the FD, Spirit R, so like the super high-end one that you see all the time in Gran Turismo 6. It's the one that they had in the premium model. Uh, the R32 Skyline V-Spec 2, R34 V-Spec 2 NUR, uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I said R32, but R34, I'm pretty sure I said R32. I'm going to correct myself there. Uh, Suzuki Swift Sport, which is really not that exciting. Uh, Volkswagen Samba bus, not fast, but exciting. Kind of weird how something with 20 horsepower can be so exciting. That's going to be a really cool car to see in the game just for fun. It's going to be one of those cars that's just fun to have around. And then uh, the Chris Holstrom Concepts 1967 Chevy Nova. It's the 2013 Sema GT Award winner. I do not remember this one's likes. I'm going to post a description to it in the description down below. And then... For future DLC, I'm going to just skip straight to future DLC before I get into the other parts. Uh, future DLC, it's, they're gonna, they said they're going to have 50 more cars planned by March 2018. So that's not a lot of time for 50 cars. I don't know if that's 50 more cars or 50 cars including this drop. But uh, it's going to be exciting to see that many cars coming. And on top of the cars that they're dropping this, uh, this update... There's also a going to be offline play in this game. That's right, so you don't have to play or, uh, arcade mode. You're not going to be limited to arcade mode. You are going to have to suffer the withdrawal, or I guess uh, the lack of saving your game while offline, but you can still play offline. You can do livery editor, you can do scapes, uh, you can race campaign, but none of it will save while you're offline. So, I mean, you're not stuck playing... Uh, I mean, you're not stuck playing just arcade mode, but it'll be really nice to be able to play offline if you're stuck offline, so your game's not a brick, basically. And then 
as far as other stuff being added to the game, there's just more career modes or mode options. So it'd be like old Gran Turismo titles. So like this game we have, like you go through each step and you get to the next race and next race. But this one, there's uh, different levels. It looks like there's going to be four different levels. There's beginner level, amateur league, or sorry, there are leagues. Beginner league, amateur league, professional league, and endurance league. So, I mean, it's what you would expect from like, I guess drive club if you if you would say uh, drive club or the old Gran Turismo's where you get one league and then you go through all the races for it and then pretty much I mean you unlock all of them depending on your level in this one but it's kind of the same thing um, it's it's just gonna be really fun and a uh, better way to uh, have fun in the game I guess you could say uh, so it's not gonna be like you finish the game already and then you're stuck doing online if even if that's not your thing I mean you have a lot of stuff to do in this game that, That's what I love about Gran Turismo Sport is you always have something to do You could go in a lobby have fun with your friends for literally hours on end Or you could go play, play sport mode and have fun for literally hours on end doing that You could build your cars you can tune your cars for whatever you want you know uh, it's just really fun to play this game and with this update it's going to be awesome because you're going to be able to play offline and you're going to have a lot more ways to level up and all that fun stuff so if you're stuck on whatever level you are and out of mileage points to earn from doing big races and stuff and money to earn from big races then this gives you a new opportunity uh that's pretty much all i have for this Ooh, never mind. Uh, another additive to this video. Um, actually, the decal editor is now live for everybody. You just go on to Gran Turismo Sports website, go to Sport Community, and you'll be able to see it right there on the first screen. You'll need a computer because you need to convert your image to an SVG file. But once you have it downloaded on the game, it's going to be awesome, and you can make some awesome wraps. So be, be on the lookout for some awesome wraps look, or coming up, or awesome decals, I guess, coming up on the uh, Discovery page. And... Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video, so peace out. Bye. Okay, just a quick update for the end of the video. I just found this out. Uh, 1.06 update is going to be on the 27th of November, November, and then that's going to include the three cars and campaign mode and all that stuff offline. And then the other stuff is going to be in December. No, uh, no definite date in December yet, but I'd imagine it's probably like mid-December, maybe end of December, definitely not the beginning of December. Um, it's going to have the other 12 cars and the leagues. Uh, the 12 cars are actually going to be free, so that's awesome.